Podcast. It's Jasper, and today I'm answering a question I received via Instagram. What is the difference between rewrites and revisions? The main difference between rewriting and revising is that rewriting means more work than revising. For instance, if your teachers told you you need to rewrite your paper, you would understand that means you need to write it again. To rewrite is to write again. Whereas if you were told your paper needs revisions, you should understand that there are parts that need to be reworked rather than the whole thing needing to be redone. To revise is to reconsider and alter. Another key difference between the two is that they mark different stages in the writing process. If your work in progress needs to be rewritten or scenes need to be rewritten, you're moving yourself back to the initial stages of writing. If you are revising, you are generally getting closer to finishing. The four basic stages of writing are brainstorm, draft, revise, and proofread. And while moving through these stages in a straight line, going one, two, three, four, is ideal, it's not often what happens. Instead, what we see is a recursive movement, moving back and forth between these stages. Very often, writers don't even start with step one. Writing doesn't always go in order. You move through the stages and what makes sense, when it makes sense. The key thing is that you do all of them at some point. Very often, it is by rewriting that we cycle through these stages. If, for example, you've done step one, two, three, and you're getting to four proofreading, and you realize you need to rewrite something, well, it means you're gonna have to go back to the beginning because you need to brainstorm about how are you gonna change it? You need to draft that, then revise that draft, and then proofread it. Rewriting can apply simply to a scene, chapter, section, or the entire novel. Although rewriting might seem a little bit backwards, painful, or just not what you want to do, there's nothing wrong with rewriting. In fact, it can be a crucial stage in getting your work in progress to the place where it needs to be. Often, it can be impossible to get a scene just the way we need it to be when we can't let go of how we wrote it initially. This is where rewriting comes into play. If I'm rewriting a scene, often what I will do is open up a blank Word document and without looking at my old draft, I will just write it again. So for instance, the other day I was rewriting a chapter, opened up a blank word document, wrote the chapter from start to finish, and then after I had done that, I looked over the old one and the new one side by side on my computer. Now, sometimes what happens is I go, I like this new one way better, and I can just simply cut out the old one and paste in the new one. Sometimes I decide, uh, actually, I think the old one was strong enough as it is, and I'm going to keep it just as it was. Or often what happens is I realize there was something I really liked about the first one and something I love what the new one brought in, and so I'll blend the two together. The key thing with rewriting is to give yourself space from the original draft. Now, revising is a bigger sort of thing, whereas rewriting means write it again, <laughs> revising can mean a few things. Number one, revising can mean refocusing. This is considering the purpose of a scene or the book as a whole. A good question to ask, are your scenes, characters, chapters, all fulfilling the purpose they're supposed to? If not, refocus. Number two, revising can mean reordering. Does your story flow? Sometimes creating an outline of what you've already written can be helpful to see if the characters and scenes all make sense the way they are. I know it might seem a little backwards, especially if you've already plotted out your novel, but writing out what happens, how you've written it, can sometimes show you that even though you plotted it out this way, it didn't end up that way, and there's things that maybe you need to tweak and change. Number three, revising can mean adding. Is there any information, detail, description, evidence, anything that should be in the text that's not there? The other day I was working on a particular chapter and I realized that the character I was trying to showcase just kind of fell flat. I wanted to incorporate something more about her 
to really show off what it is that I like about her that wasn't coming through in the chapter. So I went in and revised that chapter. I had my original document and I added stuff in. Number four, revising can mean cutting. This is a big one for me because I am an overwriter, just like I am an over talker. I will talk all day and I will write for pages. A good question to ask is, is there anything unnecessary? Is there a character, scene, event that serves no purpose? A common question I have heard from other writers is to ask yourself if this character was missing or if this event didn't happen, would it affect the plot as a whole? If the answer is no, then it probably shouldn't be in there. Number five, revising can mean editing and proofreading. This is the time for the basics, grammar, spelling, and formatting. I hope this has been helpful and that the question of what is the difference between revising and rewriting has been answered for you. As well, if you already knew the difference between revising and rewriting, I hope that this video is still helpful in talking a little bit about the writing process. If you guys have any specific questions about writings, suggestions for future videos, feel free to DM me on Instagram, comment down below, or shout out on my Twitter. As always, let's be a community of writers who help each other out. Cheers and cheers. Boom, 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 boom,